guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are doing a whole new series on The Sims 4. So, in the spirit of October Halloween, you know, I wanted to do a new challenge for The Sims 4, and I couldn't find any, honestly, that were kind of related to October and stuff that I wanted to do, and so I just kind of decided on doing a witch challenge. It's essentially kind of like a legacy challenge. I couldn't find something online that I exactly wanted. There were just so many rules, and I don't follow rules very well. I like to make up my own rules. So, this is Sky, Sky Vex. Uh, I went online and did like a random name generator for witches and I know that's kind of silly but uh, I knew that it would give me some kind of nature themed names and I have no idea what Vex means but I thought it sounded really cool so this is Sky Vex actually this is not Sky Vex because I have not edited her yet this is just a randomly generated sim but I did do all this information over here I picked her walk and her voice and her age and everything and I picked out her uh, aspiration and her traits um, I wanted it to be something you know nature themed and everything and she loves the outdoors she's a good witch there there's such thing as a good witch okay and she loves cats because everybody knows that cats love witches right I think so so um, I did decide to make her a female it, there was an option I guess to make a male but I always play with females I don't know what that is but I don't like to make male sims that may be strange to you but whenever I go CC shopping and do all that stuff I always get female stuff. I don't even worry about editing the guys. I just leave them how they are. So I love playing with females so we're gonna go with a female witch instead of a male witch. Yes I did say male witch because men can be witches. Okay. Warlock is an offensive term. It is witch. Okay. Uh, so moving on, uh, we are going to edit her today. I'm going to be, do, be doing a little probably speed through of this because it's going to take me a very long time to sort through some of the custom content that I just got. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs>
Okay. I am really, really liking this sim. I think she's freaking gorgeous. I'm so excited to play as her throughout this series. So, this is her everyday outfit. I really, really love the necklace here with the moons and everything. I think that that's just so gorgeous. I also really love this hair. I could not decide on the color. Um, I think it's good though. I wasn't sure if I wanted like a multicolored hair or just black or if I should just... I wanted to go with a darker color because it kind of matched the clothing that she was going to be wearing. But I really, really love it and I think the shoes go really well with this outfit. So here is her formal. I also really love this outfit. It's super cute. Her nails are adorable. And her makeup is just amazing. And the necklace. I just love it all. Um, okay, so here is her athletic wear. I wasn't entirely sure what to put her in for this. and uh, But we just put her in a custom content shirt that I already had. And some regular shoes. And just threw that on there. And I think that looks good. I think that her nightwear looks adorable as well. Uh, here is her party wear. I wasn't exactly sure what to do with this, but I don't know. I think I, I really like it. I really love the shirt. I just wasn't sure how that, that would fit into the kind of party themed, but I think it looks good. So here is her swimsuit. It took me a very, very long time to find a swimsuit that actually looked good. Um, I don't mean it like that. There's There was plenty of swimsuits that I came across to look good. Like, for instance, I really like this one. But, I don't know. Actually, I might give her two swimsuits because I really like that one too. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do it like that. So, oh, I didn't even give her the second one. What am I doing? Okay, and here's the second one. Alright, she has two swimsuits now. You're welcome pretty <laughs> and here's her hot weather outfit I didn't really anticipate this I kind of forgot about these two last options but I think this worked out really well I think it's really really cute here is her cold weather outfit now I'm seeing that it kind of doesn't make any sense that she's in shorts but uh, maybe we should change that up um, let's see some pants for some cold weather uh, ooh, these are cute maybe a few more rips in them Oh, she's actually wearing one similar to that. Let's give her these. They got the little zipper pockets there that matches the jacket. I think that that's super cute. And it looks a little more uh, warm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I really, really like this. I think that it turned out really well. This is Sky Vex, and she is going to be our first witch in this challenge. Let me tell you a little bit about the challenge. It's pretty simple. There's not very many rules because, like I said before, I don't like to play by rules, so I just, you know, don't. <laughs> uh, basically, all you have to do is for your sims, you have to complete their aspiration. You have to max out their gar gardening and herbalism uh, skills and um, have a coven kind of and by that I don't actually mean like a coven I mean basically a family her goal is to max out those skills complete her achievement and to have several kids who are all going to successfully grow up into witches just like her um, you I think we're gonna make a rule where she can't get married because I don't really want anybody to get in the way of this challenge you know that's kind of distracting so we're gonna make it to where whenever she uh, needs to have a baby or wants to have a baby that she's just gonna meet somebody have a baby with them and not have any long-term commitment to them uh, also she cannot have a job she is going to make her money through her gardening and however else she can do it that way um, also, I have a mod that I really hope works. I've read some comments that it doesn't work anymore, but it should work. Hoping that it works. I've got it downloaded. We will find out in the next episode if it does. But I thought since she's got to, you know, kind of go with this uh, witchy theme, herbalism, gardening type thing, that it would be cool to live in Granite Falls. And Granite Falls is supposed to actually be a vacation world, but I found a mod that allows you to actually live there like it's residential so hopefully that will work so we can live there and it'll be a lot easier to be able to go around and collect herbs and whatnot but this is our girl sky vex and whenever she has a kid uh whenever that kid gets to a certain age then that kid will take over her place as long as she's like completed everything that she's got to complete so 
that's the challenge. I don't know. Um, this is not a specific challenge, so I can't really link you to any of these challenges or this challenge. Um, but I don't know. It's just kind of my rules, I guess. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm doing this specifically for October. If you guys enjoy it a lot, though, we may continue it throughout the year. I don't know, but I decided that I wanted to do something special for October. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I know Sky is excited. Um, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe if you aren't already and hit that thumbs up if you're excited. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!